the chiefs in the Vanua, the district officer, Tavua Nandarivatu, OCPD Tavua, senior government officials, the head teacher, respected Talatala, my ministry staffs, youth participants, ladies, gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Pula Vinaka and a very good afternoon to you all. At the outset, I would like to thank the village elders and the youths for the Yangwana ceremony, Vinaka. Despite the rainy weather that we had in the past few weeks, I appreciate the warm welcome in your community. I would also like to acknowledge the assistance rendered for this training from the Fiji National Rugby League, FESNOC, the Medical Services Pacific and Social Welfare Department. Can we all put our hands together? Government is always pleased to see such partnership for the delivering of such training that will no doubt enhance our vibrant youth sector. Ladies, gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I would also like to acknowledge the trainees present here and your commitment to this training. I was told that 65 participants have attained the knowledge from this program. I'm also told that you all have completed, as mentioned earlier on, your five days sports train and trainer program. This is not the end of trainings. If need be, we will come back again for more trainings. Ladies, gentlemen, brothers and sisters, Fiji has become a sporting powerhouse capable of bringing the world to its feet. And this has been proven by our sevens with their back-to-back -back Olympic gold medal wins in Rio and in Tokyo. Our heroes started in our own backyard before reaching the world stage. It is through such trainings that we can expose our sporting talents to proper technical guidance in the respective sporting fields you have covered this week. Not only sporting talents, but also as sports administrators. For instance, in October last year, we ran a similar program in Bar, and now Heavy Bar Eagles Rugby League Club. The secretary, the treasurer, the referee for the club were all participants of that training. So you can see for yourself the impact in the community and we would like to see that same impact here in Nandarivatu. To further support your training, we are giving out sports kits to the various participating villages to promote your sports development and put into practice the things that you have learned 
here this week. In addition, we are confident that after this, you will be able to form your community sports associations, improve your sports skills, and identify potential sporting talents. I would also like to acknowledge the stakeholders for promoting other important aspects of sports, including actions against anti-doping and drugs in sports. While I'm talking about drugs, let me share with all of you, in my the other portfolio, employment portfolio, we are sending our Fijians to Australia and New Zealand under the Pacific Labour Scheme and Seasonal Work Program. Majority of them who came for interview, all of the boxes during the interview was ticked except one. Guess what? What was the reason that they failed? Yo. So they lost that opportunity. And that is why it is very important. It's not only sports, but you'll, you'll also lose job opportunities. So be aware of that. I'd also like to thank the village elders for hosting the youths here. And I want to, on behalf of my ministry, I want to say thank you so much. Ladies, gentlemen, brothers and sisters, through the National Development Plan, your government is committed to develop a productive and healthy nation through sports development programs and develop local athletes into elite athletes. This is for all Fijians, regardless of your social background in the community, your culture or your religious belief. I encourage you all to remain focused and use what you have learned during the training to your advantage. As we conclude the training today, I hope that you have been able to sharpen your individual skill sets and knowledge. You will now look beyond the horizon at the goals you will set for yourselves, goals that you can and will achieve. With these few words, ladies, gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I congratulate you all and hope that the skills learned during the training will assist you and your community in developing healthy lifestyles and promoting sports development. Thank you, Vinaka, and God bless you all.